Status inconsistency theory, also known as status discrepancy theory or status incongruity theory, suggests that individuals experience psychological distress when their social positions or roles exhibit conflicting or inconsistent status levels. Having reached its greatest development in the 1960s and 1970s, despite subsequent criticism, the theory was innovative for its time. Until now, it has been relevant in its practical application and helped to understand the complex relationship between social position and psychological well being. Most social philosophers and social scientists prior to the development of status inconsistency theory have tended to describe the vertical structure of human groups using a single hierarchy in which each member occupies a single position. Status inconsistency theory has influenced this shift. It suggested looking at social status from multiple dimensions or scales, such as education, occupation, income, and even ethnicity. When individuals are on the same level in different dimensions, we are talking about a situation of status consistency or status crystallization. Otherwise, there is a status inconsistency. Status inconsistency occurs when someone is low on one scale and high on another. For example, a person who is highly educated but works in a low paying job may experience status inconsistency. They may feel out of place among their co workers, who may not share their level of education or intellectual interests. At the same time, they may also feel disconnected from their academic peers, who may view them as being below their level of education and social status. This can lead to feelings of isolation and alienation. As well as a sense of being stuck between two worlds. Other examples of status inconsistency are prestigious occupation with low financial remuneration. Despite its prestige and influence, a career in academia often comes with relatively low salaries compared to other professions. Teaching, a profession that shapes future generations and holds great societal value, is often characterized by relatively low pay scales. Particularly in certain regions or educational levels. Journalism, known for its impact on society and the pursuit of truth, is notorious for offering lower salaries, particularly for entry level positions. In each of these scenarios, individuals might feel underawarded because their contribution to the common good outweighs the rewards. But what about the reverse situation, when a person has a low education and high income? There are indeed some occupations that may offer high income despite requiring lower levels of formal education. For example, real estate agents and brokers can earn high incomes, especially in areas with thriving property markets. Professions in trades such as plumbing, electrician work, welding, and construction can provide lucrative financial opportunities. Certain roles within the entertainment industry, Such as actors, musicians, and professional athletes, can yield substantial incomes. While talent and skill are vital for success in these fields, formal education is not necessarily a primary factor. Do people with low education and high income feel over rewarded or even guilty because of the inconsistency between their low educational attainment and their high financial success? Status inconsistency theory says, sure. To what may seem like a less common situation than underawarding. The reason for that are social expectations. Society often associates higher levels of education with professional success and financial stability. When individuals achieve high income without the corresponding level of education, they may feel a sense of guilt because they perceive themselves as deviating from the expected norm. They believe they are not as qualified or deserving as others who have achieved similar financial success through higher education. And, the final scenario, is the status inconsistency with ethnicity. Members of an ethnic minority groups and migrants may have faced historical disadvantages and discrimination due to societal biases. Therefore, stereotypically, They are expected to have low paid and unprestigious jobs. However, some people may stand out of that. Despite being a member of ethnic minorities, 
Some people may hold a highly prestigious and influential position in society. For example, they can be the CEO of a successful multinational companies and enjoy significant wealth and power. In this case, prestigious occupations and prosperous financial conditions are inconsistent with their ethnicity. Prestige and wealth are not typically associated with this ethnic group due to societal biases. That's it for the basis of social inconsistency theory. In the next video, you will learn how status inconsistency influences the ways people interact with each other and build social connections. Thanks for watching.